We are exploring now floral trends. It's an obvious thing to say for spring, but I think you can always instruct your customer in new ways of understanding it. Suno is one of my favorite new brands. They do remarkable interpretations on floral prints, any prints really, but this floral one in particular is, is quite stunning. So this is Suno dress. You have the Prada floral pumps, which I love if you're going to do it at all, do it all the way. I mean, you could even, if you wanted to, um, throw on a floral cardigan or a print cardigan or a print scarf would, would be quite nice. Another thing for your customer, you could pick, say, if it was a statement piece like this that has the cutout, you could do a statement jewelry piece. I maybe wouldn't do it everywhere, but I like the idea if you're gonna have floral, to go there with the jewelry and have color in there, have texture, kind of embrace the trend. And that personalizes it too. Because without that, it's just wearing the dress, which you can do quite easily. But if you want to personalize it and make it your own, then you really have to um, just take that next step. Ashley here is continuing our floral trend. She's wearing a Parker floral tank top, Oswald Helgeson silk shorts, and 10 Crosby Dark Lamb sandals, which have this really cool bit of leopard on the side, along with this nice gold buckle. A couple things about this look. One, I think it's very beach chic. I think this kind of look would translate very well for, say, music festival, concert oriented. I, I think um, any summer beach party, this is a great party outfit because you're not, you know, standing in heels for hours. You could wear it till deep into the night. I, I do think what's cool about this is it kind of has a boho beach vibe though, um, which is why we stocked on lots of jewelry. Uh, and again, like for, for your customer, I think it's important to know that here we did lots of plays on texture. Like, so you have more of a cage necklace with the pendant on top. I think to really toughen this up and personalize it, stock on as much as you can, mix around the textures because you're doing that anyways with the floral. So the jewelry should mimic it. It makes it interesting. Same with the shoes. The shoes have more mix of the pattern, more mix of the jewelry with the buckle. I think it makes it more fun and it kind of edges up the floral idea, whereas with the Suno, it was more ladylike refined. I think this is a young, very boho chic take on, on the florals trend. Laura is offering us a more casual take on the floral trends that I think still manages to stay elevated. This one I think is really fun. I think people are sometimes afraid of mixing patterns. I think they are intimidated by it and they don't necessarily know how to approach it. But with this type of thing, especially if you do it in a more grounded kind of street way, it manages to work. I'll break this down. The jacket is Oswald Helgeson, one of my favorite brands. It's a dress underneath, which is Clover Canyon. I layered that with rag and bone sweater to kind of make it feel easier because sometimes if you just put a jacket, especially if it's silk, it might read too fussy for, for a customer, especially with a fitted dress. It, it reads not as um, cool. But I think when you start layering patterns, it gives off a bit more of a street vibe, um, which makes it more accessible. I also wanted to bring in the ash pattern shoes because I thought it could be nice, especially for this look, easy to wear for a casual day of work, but you could also do all of your running around in it hit up a few museums, go to a gallery, meet some friends and not have to worry about your feet hurting you and when it gets chilly later, you can put on your jacket. I think that the bottom line here with, with florals and with patterns in general is to really teach your customers to embrace mixing as much as possible because again, I don't think you can go wrong if, if you approach it with confidence.